Hey, what's up everybody? Mike Lindsley with you as a part of the IGTV Facebook Live and of course YouTube section of the ML Sports Platter. I am live here today uh, at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. Uh, these guys are now a brand new sponsor of my platform. I'm super excited to uh, have them jump on board. We are going to be doing awesome stuff from now until through, really, to, uh, up until 2019. You gotta get here and bet on the races. They're open all the days. Saratoga's coming up, of course, six days out of seven. They're open, no, no Tuesday, of course, that's a dark Tuesday, but listen to this. Monday to Thursday, they have a lunch buffet from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. Soda or coffee is included for just $9.95. You can eat all you can eat steak, all you can eat boneless wings, seven days a week from open to close for $15.95 on the steak and just $13.95 on the boneless wings, spaghetti and meatballs, all you can eat as well from open to close for just $10.95. What a great deal. All you can eat boneless wings, steak, spaghetti, and obviously the Monday to Thursday lunch buffet. You can get that 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, with a soda or coffee for just $9.95. But as you can see behind me, this is one of the big things that you wanna, you wanna come here for. They have the races on from all parts of the country Saratoga, they're going to be on all day long for the entire duration of the Saratoga race season. And we're going to get into a lot of great stuff, too. We're going to get into the Jim Dandy. We're going to get into the Whitney. We're going to get into the Travers. Uh, we're going to get into all these big stake races, which is one thing that I wanted to talk about today with, in conjunction with Phoenix Sports Restaurant jumping on, of course, right by the Phoenix OTB. You can come place your, your bets, hang here all day. They've got great food. And by the way, Saratoga races, they've got $12 buckets of beer for mix and matches as well. What a tremendous deal that is to come hang out any day of the week and get your $12 buckets of beer uh, mixing and matching. But you know what? When you look at the pre when, when you look at the preview situation, you look at the Saratoga race season, I think the number one question that you have to ask about this Saratoga season is going to be, is Justify going to come and run uh, in Saratoga? He won the Triple Crown, of course. I was there for the Belmont. Uh, I was sitting at the eighth pole when he came around and won what an unbelievable job by Justify and the crew. I, I'm leaning towards no uh, in terms of him not uh, coming to Saratoga, and, and it's very simple. There's two reasons. Number one, I don't know as if Bob Baffert wants to mess around again with Saratoga. Remember, American Pharaoh just three years ago wins the Triple Crown. Baffert says, I'm going to bring American Pharaoh to Saratoga. Why not? I'm going to promote the sport. It's the first Triple Crown winner in 37 years. On and on and on it goes. But the problem, of course, was that American Pharaoh had to fly cross country a couple of extra times. He had to do that Friday exercise ride, which I think took a lot out of him. Keen ice starts to bump him, uh, uh, or Frost starts to bump him a little bit and then Keen Ice comes from behind and wins that race. Uh, is it worth it for Bob Baffert to have another horse go to the graveyard of champions and lose to a guy like Gronk or, or to somebody like Audible? I mean, is it worth it for him to take Justify, bring him to Saratoga, do the cross-country stuff, do all the exercising, uh, exercise riding, do the showcasing of the Triple Crown winner, and then have him go to Saratoga and have a poor performance? I think it's still worth it, but I'm, of course, a sports junkie. I want to see Justify again. I want to see him in Saratoga. Saratoga is the, in my opinion, best place for horse racing in the entire country. I have not been out west yet, but I have been enough other places. I've been to Pimlico. I've been to Belmont. Saratoga is the king, in my opinion, and there are no bigger horse racing fans than the folks out in Saratoga Springs. Well, if you bring Justify out there, you're growing the game a little bit more, much like American Pharaoh a few years ago uh, as well. But I just don't know if it's going to be worth it for Bob Baffert to bring him out again and deal with all of the things that he dealt with with American Pharaoh. He's already done that dan dance once. I'm not sure he's going to do it again. Here's another big, big factor whether Justify will be coming to Saratoga or not. He is co-owned. This is not the Zayat stable. The Zayat stables, remember that uh, uh, the stud fees and all that sort of thing and, and when you send a horse out to stud or when you when the horse is owned at a certain time that is a huge factor remember American Pharaoh sold a little bit later into the game now justify already the, the rights sold before the triple crown American Pharaoh not so much that's a big factor into how this whole thing works as well is that going to play into justify being in Saratoga I think it will be you've got two ownership groups as well and those two ownership groups could butt heads big 
big time. So I think when you look at Justify, will he go to Saratoga? I'm leaning towards no, but I hope I'm wrong. Remember, all Saratoga season, you can come here to the Phoenix Sports Restaurant where I'm live on location. Uh, this is the uh, official wagering and restaurant home of the ML Sports Platter from now through 2018 and a little bit of 2019 as well. We're going to have some events here later on in this calendar year as well. We're going to try to get together for a stakes race here uh, with, with some awesome specials and some food uh, and some unbelievable giveaways. We're going to try to maybe do a watch party, either Yankees or Red Sox. We'll probably do a Syracuse road game. So if you're in and around the area, you got to come to that event. I'm going to be sharing it all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And uh, of course, IGTV and YouTube where this video will be up here momentarily but this is a really really great place to come the people are awesome the staff is terrific you can meet a bunch of horse racing fans they've got their books open I'm sitting here right now people are wagering on the races right now and as we get set for Saratoga in just a few days for the opening of the track which is one of my now favorite days one of my favorite sports parts of the the calendar is Saratoga you're going to be able to come here to the Phoenix Sports Restaurant and the Phoenix OTB, and you're going to be able to wager. You can do it on your phone. You can do it at the table. You can open up the book. You can go to the window. And while you're doing it, you can go enjoy a cold beer. You can go have uh, all-you-can-eat boneless wings anytime open to close for just $13.95. Spaghetti and meatballs open to close, $10.95. All-you-can-eat. All-you-can-eat steak uh, from open to close as well for $15.95. And, of course, the lunch buffet from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, Monday to Thursday, which includes either a coffee or a soda. So it's going to be really, really great stuff. Uh, a great place to come after games. Uh, if you're in town, uh, uh, come here for lunch, business lunches, whatever the case may be. Dinner, lunch, wagering, games, you name it, awesome people and a great staff uh, as well. So we're getting ready for, for, for Saratoga and we're getting ready for the horse racing season uh, at the track. We're getting ready for, uh, you know, moving into that area, of course, where we start to kind of figure out, of course, it's going to be hard to, you know, uh, uh, push away, justify winning the Triple Crown as the, the three-year-old of the year. But we're starting to get into formulating 2019 as well. I mean, this is a, one of the big, big parts of Saratoga is you see a lot of two-year-olds racing in big-time races as they try to get their, uh, their, their resumes polished and then into 19 to try and qualify for the Kentucky Derby. That's what it's really uh, all about. You're going to see all the trainers, all the big-time jockeys. You're going to see uh, Johnny Velasquez, the all-time winner at Saratoga. You're going to see Mike Smith. You're going to see the Ortiz brothers. You're going to see trainers like Linda Rice and Bob Baffert. You're going to see all those folks. Todd Pletcher, who is a Saratoga mainstay. He's a guy who's going to have unbelievable amounts of horses in Saratoga, uh, obviously getting ready to groom his two-year-olds moving into 2019 to try and get a Triple Crown winner. Same thing goes for Bob Baffert. You're going to see horses training at the Oklahoma. And by the way, if you're out in Saratoga this year, whether you go to the Whitney, the Jim Dandy, you're going on a random Wednesday, whatever the heck the case may be, I'm telling you right now, you got to go have breakfast at the track and go see the horses go around and see the sun rise. It is a magical time in Saratoga. So again, I'm Mike Lindsley, ML Sports Platter, doing this video here on IGTV, Facebook Live, and YouTube from the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. Get here all summer and fall long for Yankee baseball, for college football and NFL coming up, for all of the big time horse races on the tubes. They're going to have them all, all the races from all the big pockets of the country, including Saratoga coming up in a few weeks, right up through Travers and right up through Labor Day. You can come here, you can bet. You can have great lunches and dinners. You can meet some awesome people and the wait staff is terrific as well. The Phoenix Sports Restaurant is a place to be this summer uh, in central New York. You're coming in town, you're from out of town, whatever the case may be, you live here, stop by for your business lunch. Stop by where you're seeing friends and relatives. Come by the Phoenix Sports Restaurant, a, a an official title sponsor, associate sponsor of the ML Sports Platter, and appreciate Mike and the gang for having me out. You'll hear me from here basically week, uh, weekly with podcasts and videos like this. Really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to download my podcast uh, on Spotify and iTunes. It's the ML Sports Platter. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.